Hello everyone. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about the Arcade library. So just open Arcade's documentation on this website and let's read a little bit. So Arcade is an easy to learn Python library for creating 2D games and more. So it's a library, not a game engine, nor a game framework. Okay, um, let's go to Arcade's GitHub page. So just click here, I have already opened it. And as you can see, Arcade 3.0.0 was released just last week. That's why I decided to create this series. And I already created an Arcade series about five years ago in 2019. And here in this series, I created 12 videos. Many of the things are still the same as it was five years ago, but many of the things have changed since then so that's why i decided to revisit this series okay now let's take a look on how to install arcade how to create an arcade window and an arcade view so first of all just uh, search for the pypy package and you can install arcade with the following command so pip install arcade and this will install the latest version so arcade 3.0 and here is the release date so january 25 2025 i have already did this so i have opened here a pycharm project and if i list the dependencies so pip list as you can see, I'm, I'm using a Python virtual environment called Arcade 3.0. And in this environment, I have installed Arcade 3.0 and it automatically installs all its dependencies. So RTTRS, the CFFI below, pip is by default installed, PyCParser, Pyglet, and Arcade is built on top of Pyglet. I have already created a Pilot crash course uh, about one and a half year ago. So it uses the latest version of Pilot, which is 2.1.2. And it also uses PyMan for physics. So and it, and it uses 6.9.0. And I have also created a PyMan crash course a few weeks ago. And it uses also this PyTiled parser and typing extensions. Okay. Now let's start by creating an arcade window. As usual, because I am a slow typer, I'm just going to copy and paste the already written code. So the first thing what we have to do is of course import the arcade module. So import arcade. And now let's create a window with this command. So window will be equal to arcade.window with a capital W. And here we can set all sorts of window properties. I'm only setting here the title, but uh, we are going to take a look what are the other properties. So you can go over with your mouse pointer and PyCharm will show what you can set on an arcade window. Here, as you can see, by default, the width and the height is set to 1280 by 720. Here, the, the title we already over written this with arcade tutorials and you can set also full screen this is by default set to false resizable this is also by default set to false which is okay the update rate which is 1 over 60 so 60 frames per second anti-aliasing is set also to true and it also uses opengl version 3.3 and remember that arcade is built on top of piglet and piglet is built on top of opengl and all sorts of other settings you can search and uh, you can take a look on the documentation what all these properties uh, mean okay now what we are going to do is um, create a game view class so, so i'm just going to call it game view so class game view and this will inherit from arcade.view Okay, let's take a look in the documentation. What is this arcade.view? So I'm just going to copy this view class, control C. And uh, here in the documentation, in the search docs, I'm just going to paste it. So here is the window and view. Let's open this up. And here under this window and view, you will find the view class. So let's click on this. 
and you can read about this. A view is a way to separate drawing and logic from the window itself. Subclassing the window is very inflexible since you can't easily switch your update and draw logic. Okay, a view is a way to encapsulate that logic so you can easily switch between different parts of your game. Maybe you have a title screen, a game screen and a game over screen. Each of these could be a different view. Okay, so we are recreated this view and we are calling it game view. And the only thing for now, uh, what I'm going to do is just add an init method. So the under init method and also call the super classes init method. So super dot init. And the next thing what we are going to do is I'm just going to create uh, an instance from this game view class. So game equals game view. And I'm just going to tell the window that show this game view with this command. So window that show view and the game. And we can run the arcade with arcade.run. And now let's right click and run this Python script. And as you can see, it creates a 1280 by 720 window and its title is arcade tutorials. So we have the first window. And let me also set the windows initial position and you can do this with this command. So window that set location, for example, 400 and 200. So in this case, it will appear always in the same position. So from the upper left corner of your screen, 400 to the right and 200 pixels down. Or alternatively, I'm just going to comment this out. You can set it like this window that center window and this will center the window inside your screen. Okay, in this episode we learned how to create an arcade window using the arcade.window class. Also we have learned what is an arcade view and how to create a game view by subclassing the arcade.view class. How we should instantiate a view and also how we can tell the window which view should be shown. So show view and the game. So we can create multiple views and we can just switch using this command window that show the view one, view two, view three and so on. And just lastly, run the arcade that run command, which will enter the application or the game loop.